Look at that. It looks so much like an actual pizza. It blows my mind. On this channel, we like pizza. The problem is, we also like having a six pack. And to be honest, those two things don't go together very well. Now, I've tried to combat this several times with some pretty damn good low calorie pizza recipes. Whether it was making my own low calorie dough, whether it was using a thin tortilla wrap, buying low calorie pizza crusts online, loads of different things. But we've all seen that stuff now. It's boring, it's old. I'm over it, mate. And now that I am like eight, nine weeks deep into my prep, I'm starting to really want pizza. So the other day I was watching a Jonathan Clark video and that has given me the inspiration for today's video. Jonathan Clark's inspiration that I got inspiration from was inspired by TikTok, but I refuse to give credit to TikTok for anything because TikTok sucks. So today's credit goes to Jonathan Clark, but I've got my own twist on this. So credit also goes to me, subscribe. But yes, today we are going to be making a revolutionary low calorie pizza using just a few really simple ingredients. And what's more, it's going to be literally 300 calories. It is only going to have 300 calories. It's going to be a lot more filling than those anabolic pizzas we've all made using a wrap as the base. And probably the best part of all of this is you can literally make it in just a frying pan. There's no oven needed. It's a skillet pizza. So I think I've sold it to you now and my stomach is literally rumbling. So let's quickly check out the ingredients and then let's make it. Time to go over the ingredients for this pizza recipe that is literally going to blow your mind. But first, remember to hit that top link in the description to get in contact with me directly about one-on-one -on -one online coaching. No commitment, just see what's going on. You will also find all of these ingredients and the quantities you need listed in the description box below. I will have linked to the ones that I personally use and recommend. So if you get those, you can't go wrong as always. First thing you want is a wrap. It can be any type of wrap, but you want it to be about the same size as your frying pan. This is a Weight Watch. This is a Weight Watchers one that is 120 calories, and they're actually really nice. You do not need to use a Weight Watchers one. You do not need to use one that is 120 calories. But bear in mind, the more calories your wrap has, the more calories your pizza will have. Do you see how this works? Next up, we need some eggs. Just the whites, actually, and we're going to be using 200 grams of egg whites. After that, you're going to want some. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. I fucked up. After that, you're gonna want some pizza sauce or tomato puree to make your own pizza sauce. I forgot to get it, so I don't have any, so I'm gonna have to use something else for mine, but we live and learn. Then you'll need some reduced fat or fat-free cheese if you have access to it. This one is 71 calories per 30 grams, so not too bad. And then lastly, you're gonna need some meat. I'm using these chicken circle slices that I got from Lidl because they were on sale, and as we all know, I'm cheap, but you can use any meat you like. These are only five calories per little circle. So that is an absolute calorie bargain as well as a price bargain. And that is it. That is all the ingredients. So like I said, really, really simple. No stupid ingredients you need to order from some dodgy website in Canada. No weird ingredients you have to buy from some guy in a trench coat in a back alley. Just good old fashioned, normal food ingredients. Let's get into the recipe. And before I show you how this is gonna be done, I do wanna put a quick warning, disclaimer out there. This recipe does require a little bit of skill, a little bit of finesse, if you like. And to be honest, guys, I don't always have skill and finesse in the kitchen. Sometimes I could be on MasterChef. Sometimes I can't even crack an egg properly. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully this little confession will have eased the pressure off a little bit, but with the camera rolling, who knows how it's gonna go. All right, so first things first, grab yourself a frying pan and start it heating up to a medium heat. Ideally a good non-stick one, not some crappy old one. And also make sure it's a similar size to the size of the wrap that you're gonna be using. Once the pan's at a medium heat, you're going to spray the bottom with some non-stick cooking spray, then pour in your 200 grams of egg whites, then season that with some salt and garlic and herb seasoning. We want to cook these low and slow, so add a lid to the pan and allow the egg whites to begin cooking up and rising. And after a few minutes, while the egg is still slightly runny, gently place your wrap over the top of the egg whites, and then continue cooking until it's firm enough for you to flip over. 
Once the egg whites are solid, it should be easily flippable. So cover the pan with a plate and finesse flip it over to get a nice egg white and tortilla pizza base. From here, we're gonna build our pizza. So add your pizza sauce. I ended up using barbecue sauce, but obviously use your pizza sauce of choice. Then your reduced fat cheese, 30 grams worth, five slices of chicken or pepperoni or whatever. Then place it back onto the frying pan with the tortilla side down. Cook it for a few more minutes, covered with a lid to get the base nice and crunchy and the cheese melted. And then you are done. And there we go, my friends. We just made a low calorie pizza in a frying pan. And it looks absolutely incredible. So let's get this onto a plate. If you used a good frying pan, it will literally just slide off, look at that. And now we are ready for the two types of tests that you have to do when you're doing pizza. The first is gonna be a cut test. So let's do that now. Okay, going in. I wanna get this in, I wanna get it into nice satisfying fives. So we're gonna go down here. It's crunchy. So that is a slice of our pizza. Does it hold up? Check, look at that. It looks so much like an actual pizza. It blows my mind. We've got melted cheese down there. It looks insane. And then next up, obviously we have the taste test. Jesus Christ. I have excelled myself with this recipe. It absolutely blows my mind. I've never had it with a barbecue sauce before because I've always had the tomato before, but Jesus Christ, this is actually incredible. I have excelled myself. You have to try this and you have to tell me if I'm going crazy on this diet, on my prep, because something about this absolutely blows my mind. So you need to try it. You need to tell me in the comments whether I'm just going crazy or if this is actually as mind blowing as I think it is, but yeah. Insane, so, so good. Calories and macros for this entire pizza are just 318 calories with a massive 38 grams of protein. But that is just 26 grams of carbs and only six grams of fat. It is absolutely insane. Bear in mind, it took me about five minutes to put together. It's just a few ingredients and come on, it's literally pizza. Okay, so obviously it isn't literally pizza and it doesn't actually taste like Domino's or like a pizza you get in the store, but it does the job. It kills the cravings. It's got that thick pizza base, crispy, saucy, cheesy, meat, satisfying. I, I don't know, but it's incredible. It's not pizza, it's an omelette, but it's basically a pizza, so try it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post new videos every single day, so join the team and don't miss out. Thank you, as always, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to try this out. And until the next awesome recipe video, see you later, guys.